As a young woman, Camilla Parker Bowles had a warm relationship with Queen Elizabeth II. Camilla's former husband Andrew Parker Bowles was the Queen Mother's godson, and the couple were often guests at Buckingham Palace. However, an uncovered article has shed light on how the Queen reportedly reacted when Camilla and Prince Charles started their affair. How Princess Diana called Camilla Rottweiler in shock rant How Prince William was key to reinventing Camilla Parker Bowles writing for the Daily Telegraph in 2002, Graham Turner noted, the fact that the Queen and Prince Philip were not hands-on parents left the field wide open for other hands. Mr. Turner claimed that on occasion, the Queen was quite capable of putting down her offspring if they were guilty of bad manners in her presence. However, a former master of the household recalled, on the other hand, she failed to take action at moments that proved to be crucial for the future of the monarchy. Mr. Turner revealed that it was around 1973 when the Queen was told that Prince Charles's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles was a single man at the time but Camilla, now the Duchess of Cornwall, had married Andrew Parker Bowles earlier that year. According to the article Mr. Turner interviewed the late Lord Charteris, the Queen's former private secretary. Lord Charteris claimed Queen Elizabeth II made no comment, and her face didn't change in any way upon hearing the news. Lord Charteris added, Yet, if she'd taken a stronger line at that point, things might have been very different 20 years later. A former royal cleric who had worked with the Queen of many years said, the news wouldn't have surprised the Queen at all. Her reaction would have been that that was a natural thing for an eager young man to be doing. I can remember her commenting about someone else on another occasion, if he's got a mistress, so what? Secondly, she'd run a mile before she'd do anything about it. She'd run to the red boxes instead. Some of Charles's aides took a much less complacent view. One noted, it spoke volumes that the Queen did nothing about the fact that her son was sleeping with a married woman, when she was the one person in the world who, I knew from experience, could have done something about it. Charles and Camilla had began dating around 1972 and as their relationship became more serious, Charles was introduced to Camilla's family in Plumpton, and Camilla met certain members of the royal family. Christopher Wilson, a royal biographer, commented in The Windsor Knot, Charles, Camilla, and the legacy of Diana how the future Duchess was reportedly banned from meeting the Queen, with both the monarch and Prince Philip disapproving of the relationship as Camilla was viewed as unmarriageable. Mr. Wilson wrote in the 2018 book, The Queen and Prince Philip knew everything about Prince Charles's relationship with Camilla, the Queen said I will not have that woman in my presence. Speaking in 2017 documentary series, The Royal House of Windsor, Mr. Wilson said, The problem with Prince Charles was, you are not supposed to be in love with your mistress, you are supposed to have sex with your mistress, but Charles had fallen in love with Camilla, and that really screwed everything. Historian Professor Jane Ridley noted in the documentary that the Queen was keen on steering Prince Charles away from dating someone deemed as unmarriageable, following the union of Wallace Simpson and King Edward VIII which led to his abdication. She said, the only thing that the royal family wanted to avoid was that the Prince of Wales should become involved in a woman who was unmarriageable from the point of view of the royal family, but it seemed this pattern was reappearing.